Hello, hello. <clears throat> I'm Ashen Ninja. And I am back with Malachi McKyson. What? Oh, geez, hiccups. Once more. Uh, let's see. Dish time. Now, we have a, a wise bunch of undead there that we currently have friendly relations with, so we're not going to be Ooh, fighting them. We are going to be sending oh Belagar this way. Is that? No, that's, that's actually their territory. We should probably make sure we have military access. There we go. They pay us 6,000 gold, and we now have military access. That's good. Now, Malachi... I think I need to actually send him down this way to assist down here because we're a bit uh, overly outnumbered down here. I think. So I'll send him that way. Now, do have some other issues just here though. What does he have? He's got a goblin rock lobber. A lot of the rest of it's not too bad. I am the Slayer King. Hmm. Time for a reckoning. I think we'll actually hold back on this until oh. we can get the Malachi into I things. Must fulfill my Slayer oath. Let's see how far can they move? Oh, let's my pull them back just a little bit further. Let's see if we can lure I them in again. We sort of did, but we had to retreat because they brought in four armies because they found us. That is not a good thing. I'd rather not get annihilated. So I'm trying to be just a touch cautious with it. We're bringing in a lot of force this direction at the moment so that we can fight uh, the Chaos Dwarves as well. We've just got to get to a point where we can fight the Chaos Dwarves. By eliminating what we're currently up against. We do a bit of building while I'm seeing things just here. Now, where else were we? Uh, we've got armies Thorek, Ironbrow, Holes, Karak, Dron. Might send him towards Black Crag. Just to throw some extra threat into them. You should keep heading this way, because that's the way Belagar's coming. So we'll try and get you into Belagar's army, hopefully next turn. Should probably actually send these two into Belagar's army as well. Uh, Bar though, has not a lot, so let's uh, pump them up a bit. What I'd like to do is, because he's got the Thane and the Runesmith, so we'll get them heading. Why are they going to take attrition? Vengeful That's strange. Right, I have to move you over here. Bright. Oh, I should have taken those heroes out of his army first, but oh well. Yeah, you can both apparently take attrition. Because apparently that's the thing. I don't know why, but whatever. Oh, they're grudge throwers. They're... That's right. And now that he's over here, let's get him some more quarrelers. He himself is a runesmith, so that's fine. Take an ancient and a. Hardy. Both head into his army. On your um, skills, in you go. On your skills, of course, the worrying thing is we may. As I forgot to mention this earlier. It's been a bunch of patches, so who knows how well stability is going to be. Anyway, for now, let's do that. Now, Iron Beard, it give, doesn't give what we want in this particular army, so let's not worry about that just yet. We'll just make these two super tanky. 
Yes. This army is ah, not an optimized agreed. army. It's just kind of a nailed together bunch of dwarves heading in the same direction. We probably don't really need too much. So we may end up getting rid of this army. Yep. So I'm going to put all of these into Veligar's army. I think he should have all of the the, the ghostliness, ghost ghostly whatever what? they're called, ghost and hold. ancestors guys. Yeah, them. He's going to have all of them in his army. Because why not? So we're get, actually I'm going to get rid of most of this infantry and replace them. Other than that, most of the rest of the army looks all right. What do I have that I could put in there? I could put more gyro bombers in there. Ah, it's all good. Now, this lot up here, I don't want to actually fight Dark Elves with them. Because they would not be good against Dark Elves. Much as I'm building more buildings for... Expanding some of these things. <coughs> Gyrocopters versus Dark Elves is not a good match. White Dwarf's army is a good match, though, so he can still head this way. Uh, while they're not a good match, let's still put in that lot. We'll send Grim Dragon Slayer elsewhere, though. still doing his raiding. I don't have enough gold to do anything about it. So we won't worry about that. So we'll just sort of move him nearby. He's replenishing a little bit now though. So that's a little bit annoying. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Should there be anything I decide to forge? I don't think there's anything I need. Let's have a look at our victory conditions. <coughs> So we've got to destroy those factions for them and complete more legendary battles. That one, I have to do a lot more of that. I've done those two. Okay, so not really much in the victory conditions. That's going to be interesting. So we'll just push on as we are, I think. Alright, got you heading to the front lines. Against our orcish enemies. There's a lot of uh, cinch armies sort of appearing. I don't like the look of that. Really, really, really don't. It's quite the concern. Quite the concern. Oh, what are you going to do, eh? Not a lot I can do about it, so I'll just not worry too much about it. That's right, I was going to send all the gyrocopters over to fight at, uh, fight here against the maggot host. That's what I was going to do with them all, because that's actually a really good opportunity for the, uh, for the air force to shine. <coughs> oh yes, now I remember that whole thing. If anything, I should get another army over at Grombrindle's place. Actually, what I should do, now that I think about it, that army there, I should disband. Because I'm not actually going to be doing anything useful with it. Oh. That one's been le watching Legend of Total War. And his uh, Rakeskart armies. But anyway, um, what I should do is disband that army that, I was, that I've just built more crossbowmen in, and over towards where Grombrindle is, I should build a second army similar to his to take on Dark Elves with. Hmm, that's what I should be doing. Not doing a very good job of it right now, obviously. But, you know, we'll get there. <coughs> Excuse me. Got a bit of a grumble in my throat right now. In fact, just give me one second.
<clears throat> that didn't achieve anything. <clears> hmm. <throat> that might have though. There we go. Sorted. Right, it looks like they're going full on against um Kara's Fate Weaver now. It's good. Good direction for her armies to go in. Yeah, so I'm gonna disband him. I'm gonna build a new army to go along with uh, Grom Brindle. Together, they will battle Dark Elves and go back to Grom Brindle's homeland. Of really far away over there for some reason. I, I still don't really get why he's starting our ears over there. I'd understand a bit more even in the Chaos Waste, because like that's all part of his story. But no, no. Whatever. Who am I to say anything? Oh, they haven't discovered me. That's good. Uh, you're going to come in. Ah, we're going to get an ambush in. That's really good for us. Really, really good. Uh, we're going to use our Glimmering Pendant that and I might just auto resolve this ambush away because I can't see it being too devastating we'll just push them aside oh jeez lots more damage than it should have taken but I don't know he's probably just going to come in now isn't he yeah thought so <coughs> apparently a valiant defeat we are going to pull back from it though And uh, it will now go against him as well. Yep, decisive defeat there. Pull you back as well. Oh, really? Only that far? Come on. Oh, well. Whatever. That's fine. He'll at least replenish now. Perform steel technology against the high place. Whatever. It's fine. One less army for them, at least. Maybe I should have fought the uh, ambush. I don't know. Numpty. Get your done. Yeah, you want to go to war with me. That sucks. Does that mean you're going to attack there? Well, oh, he's just going to go into hidden stance now. That means he's recruiting. Fucking hell. That is irritating. Very irritating. That means I really actually need to put, build an army over there in the middle of friggin' nowhere to defend against a stupid little beastman tribe. That's irritating. That's very irritating. Alright, now that I've wasted a bunch of money. This is ready for duty, ready for duty, ready for duty. Yep, lots of. We're ready for duty. So I wasted a bunch of money here, so let's just get rid of this now. I'm just gonna goodbye. You two are not gonna get used now, so goodbye, goodbye. Now over here. Uh, we don't have any kind of equipment building so We do have here though, so we can build some kind of army here at least. <coughs> Let's see, ranger trained, yeah, that looks pretty good, what else do we have here, uh, we'll go with ranger trained I think, oh then again we've got some, yeah we'll go with tough, level 12, you know, Let us begin. let's give you some troops, uh, here we're going to hire that, up here, here. I can get them for one turn here as well in global. So globally we're going to do some recruiting. Only stuff that will take one turn though. He's going to take a lot of cash though. Which is quite annoying but what's he going to do eh? What you gonna do? 
Uh, let's see. Let's get another two of them. And we'll get a bunch of quarrelers. And we should be able to get a couple of things. Let's get a master engineer and a hardy one. Ready to do the guild's bidding. And we'll get a. We'll get two of these guys. That gives us three more to add to the army. <coughs> so it's a good start for his army. His army is really just going to be to destroy the beastmen. So it's just going to be pretty right, generic. Tanker boys, lots of shooting. And we'll just try and blast the beastmen out. So I think that is the best option for it. If we need to, we can actually bring in the um, the slayers that are around as well. Right, I'll tanker. Because then once that's done, we'll just disband him. Uh, that and triangulation and some more ammo. Yes. That's good. Yeah. Do. I know the beastmen are somewhere around here, so we're going to try and find them. Do it that way. Now you, we're going to jump down here. That looks good. Now you. Somehow these guys are all leveled. Even oh, that's right. They did. We did auto resolve that one battle, didn't we? Of course. Of course. Uh, let's start him on lightning strike. I think that's a good idea. Let's get his slayers, however. Uh, just gonna pump through here so that we can get some more blade shield for him. Uh, we may as well just go here and go back like that. Let's give them some more speed. To war! To war! Not that. <coughs> uh, do, do, do. Just give you mace. I'm going to head you down that way. And add. Uh, da, da. Give you that. <laughs> oh, you've got an iron beard. That's good. Yes. Uh, uh, One also right. get that. We made it all the way back I here. Restless. There we go. What did we give the other guy? That's right. Just bow seeker and blade shield, oh, so that they might battle. survive battle Bye. a little bit more. Even though technically they're not supposed to survive battle, they're supposed to accept glorious death or some bullshit. You're going to have to get rid of three of your troops, so we're going to get rid of those three. Lord of the Bring in the these boys. Agreed. Don't know what I clicked there, but the it's fine. Uh, we're going to bring him over to here. We will get rid of... Ooh. Get rid of this guy. You're a quarrel. You're gonna join them as well. There we go. Belgard's army is looking pretty good now. Looking like we should be able to take Black Crag with him. Yeah, these two are probably still gonna have a lot of trouble with this. Onward. I must fulfill my Let's see if we can lure them on a bit more. It is time. My axe that's a pretty war. dodgy way of doing things, but that's alright. I think they're a bit too right. far away. Oh, no, so they can reinforce there. Get out me I reckon we might Try have the firepower for that. Uh, 
while I am moving stuff about, we're going to get all of these guys heading back this way. Start getting the Air Force heading that way. You know who I am. Grom Brindle, let's just pop you in Blood Mouth at the moment. Is there somewhere I can build a Grom Brindle esque army close by? Sort of. Now, the problem is, I need to be able to build them, so I actually need an arms foundry as well. <coughs> That's what I really need. So let's build an arms foundry here. There we go. Get things started. Good, that's fine. Let's head you in here. Decisive victory. Casualty is low. We'll just accept that. More casualty this is low, but okay. Make it fit for the Dowie. Grab that. Helm of Drayscott. To those who don't this arm. Yes, Drayscott. Chance of his character to die on ending turn. Uh right. Wound recovery time plus ten turns. Why would I want to have that? That is just awful. Why would you want anyone to have that? That's just crap. Like, seriously. Can I, can I like, burn that? As far as I'm concerned, that's just trash. It's not even worth me calling it a grade. Like, it's 20 armor is nothing. At immune at contact effect, that's nothing. You know what? Goodbye. Yep. What? I could. Ah. Oh. I wanted to close the forge. Yep. Well done. Maybe look before you leap. Ah. Uh. Right, what? What kind of item is that? Anyway. Back onto this. Uh, Thorek Ironbrow's army is getting some leveling. Wisdom. Uh, dun dun dun. We've set it up so he's not using hard armor anyway, so we'll just go for scouting with that guy now, that runesmith. Doesn't look like anyone else got any levels. Me if you dare. Yeah, you can just stay there, that's fine. So we just want to lure them on a little bit. Might even have to try fighting them. Uh, Sile encampment. Oh, can't put what I want to put in there, so I'm not going to put anything in there. Do have some more... This stuff, though. Grab that. It's not super useful, but it's better than a stab in the eye, I guess. You can keep heading this way. We've got three turns. We might actually fully make the Age of Reckoning for once. That's, uh, that'll be nice. Uh, no, we're not going to be doing that or that. Do we have anyone else that can actually move? From Brindle can, we're not worrying about that. He doesn't need to move. Ungrim is just going to hang death. there. Let's actually pull what? Ungrim just a tiny bit further back. Uh, anyone else? These two are All looking right, for but. him. And he's creating a big army for that. Might actually send him up against these things as well. Skullcrackers aren't really that dangerous. Yeah, I might actually finally destroy that army with these two. Cool. That is where I'm going to leave this episode. I'm going to have another one shortly. I'll see you in the next one. Hope you have a good one. See you later.